welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what i eat in a day to lose weight on the ww freestyle program i'm taking you guys along with me today on all of my meals snacks dessert we're gonna hit up another open house you're gonna see the dogs and i have some hauls i have some fall hauls coming your way so if you want to see what i eat in a day to lose weight just stay tuned from Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and Big Lots. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up. So first I got this really cute steak for my front yard. It says, welcome to our patch. Everything at Hobby Lobby that was fall was 40% off. So super cute to put into my yard. I got this adorable Hello Fall wood block. I wanna use this in my videos and then also just for decoration around my home. I thought it was really cute. I also got this gobble till you wobble. I think this is adorable. I thought this would be cute as a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Loved this, thankful and blessed. It's really cute. It's kind of like a picture frame back and it's just a decoration. I love it. And again, everything was 40% off. Couldn't beat it. I also picked up some pumpkin cupcake liners. These are actually really, really cute. And then these really cute fall, uh, autumn leaves sprinkles for cupcakes. And of course you guys will be seeing that in my fall baking. So that's everything I got at Hobby Lobby. I wanna say I spent right about $35. So here's my breakfast for this morning. It is about almost eight o'clock and I'm hungry. I've been up for a couple hours. So what I'm having for breakfast is first I'm finishing up our watermelon that we purchased last week. It is delicious. I got it from Trader Joe's. So of course that is zero smart points. I have one slice of my Sam's Choice turkey bacon. This is all I had left over after meal prep, so I decided to go ahead and cook it up in the microwave. That is one smart point. I have one whole egg and one egg white that I scrambled up with just a little bit of salt and pepper for zero. And then I'm most excited about my bagel. So what I am having is I am having the Western bagel. This is the alternative bagels and this is in the blueberry you guys these western bagels are so good they are full size bagels depending on what kind you get the points do range so let me tell you a little bit about how the points work so western bagel does carry an alternative bagelette so as you can see these are small bagels so they're just a smaller version of their full size bagels this pumpkin one is amazing these are only one smart point so Great to have as a little side with your breakfast or lunch. If you do have two bagels, it does bump it up to three points, but one is only one smart point. They also carry a Perfect 10 Plus multi-grain. That is two smart points, and that is a full-size bagel similar to the blueberry. Now the blueberry bagel, this one and the cinnamon are my favorite. These full-size bagels are only three smart points. That's it, you guys. So this entire bagel is three points. You can't beat it. I mean, nowhere else can you find a full-size bagel, bagel for only three smart points. So I'm gonna be having one of my favorite blueberry bagels. They're pre-sliced. I just toasted it and added just a couple sprays of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter. So if you are interested in checking out Western Bagel, I highly recommend it. If you are a bagel lover, these bagels are amazing. You would never know that they aren't just regular bakery bagels. So hop over to westernbagel.com. There is a link down in the description box below. Use my code here on the screen and save 10%. Right now they do have a build your own box where you can pick your bagel. So you could do some bagelettes, you could do some full size, and on that you get free shipping plus you can use my discount code. So it's kind of a double discount and free shipping. So again, my code is here on the screen. Just to let you know, my bagel is 120 
calories. So not bad. It has some whole grains, no artificial sweeteners, low fat, an excellent source of fiber and calcium. So again, three points for a full size bagel. So my breakfast, you guys, four smart points, three for the bagel, one for the bacon. Can't beat it. So I'm going to have some breakfast. Hello. Yeah. Hi buddy. Your mommy's having breakfast. So of course you're right here and she's kind of back here in the corner. Lola, Lola do. But she's of course over here too, because breakfast is being served. Aren't you babe? Yeah, you guys will have some green beans. Yeah, you guys will have green beans when mommy's done with her breakfast. My babies. It is morning snack time. It is just before 10 a.m. I have been busy, busy this morning, so I'm gonna have myself one of my chocolate orange cream built bars. I really like this one. It reminds me of those chocolate covered orange sticks that you can buy around the holidays. It is that good. The orange flavor is on point delicious so the situation with built bars are they are three smart points they are 110 calories with 15 grams of protein six fiber four sugar and four fat i store mine in the freezer i feel like it just helps keep them a little bit fresher but i usually will take them out of the freezer for a few minutes before i eat them i actually prefer them cold in the freezer in the pantry i like them always but if you're not a fan of the texture, you can throw it in the fridge or freezer and that gen definitely changes the texture for you. So I always have this as a morning snack with the 15 grams of protein. It keeps me super full, which is awesome. And it keeps me full until lunch and it's only three points. And again, full of great ingredients, delicious, tastes like a candy bar. Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. I would not go a day on my journey without my Built Bars. That is for sure. So if you're interested in Built Bar, Go ahead and click the link down in the description box. My code here is on the screen. It will give you 10% off and free shipping. So definitely get some Built Bars. If you haven't tried them yet, they again are a staple on WW. They're great on keto. They're just an excellent product and they taste delicious. So this is going to be my morning snack. And my TJ Maxx haul mainly revolved around Diesel and Lola, but I did pick up a few fall Halloween things. So I found this really cute pumpkin silicone mold. This is going to be for a Halloween baking video. I already have something in mind. So cute. Love it. I also, I had to get this pumpkin. I think it's beautiful. It's white with a gold stem and it says, hello fall. I love, love, love it. I got this plate for my videos just so that I can put my baked goods on this plate. I thought it was really pretty and it was like $4.99. Great deal. And lots of dog treats. So I found these natural belly bones, dental care yogurt bones. Again, if you don't follow my channel or know this about Diesel and Lola, they cannot have grain and they cannot have chicken. So finding treats is really hard and they're generally very expensive. So when I find some that they can have, I buy them. So Naturals Belly Bones, I found these Farmer Market Natural Duck and Vegetable Treats. These are beef and lamb recipe. These are like little beef sticks. They're going to love those. Also, I don't like to give them raw hides unless they're the digestible kind. And so I found these pork rolls. They're really just pork hide. And so I thought this would be nice for them to have to chew on. And then this is something that I was excited about. This is the Happy Teeth. And these are Himalayan cheese flavor dog chews. $3.99. Two of them in there. I thought I'd give them to them to kind of last them a little while. They're pretty darn good size. So lots of dog treats at TJ Maxx and some fun fall stuff. So here's my lunch for today. It is just about one o'clock. I have to head out here in a few minutes to my open house. So I am having my meal prep, my last one from last week. So I have three of my basil, sun-dried tomato, Parmesan meatballs. So good, so good. Three smart points for all three. I have three smart points worth of my roasted potatoes. Zero for my Brussels sprouts. It's just sprayed with, I can't believe it's not butter spray and my second fruit of the day, some grapes. So this entire lunch, six smart points. Lastly, what I picked up at Big Lots. So I went here looking for stuff for videos, fall decor, didn't find a lot of fall decor, but I found some fun stuff. So I found these really cute placemats. They're gray on one side and this really cute pattern on the other. I picked up two, one for my husband and myself. Our table likes to discolor with heat. So I wanted to make sure that I had nice, cute placemats for us for dinner. My table is black, so it'll kind of get that white 
tinge to it. So I grabbed those. These are for us just to have when we eat dinner. And then I found this placemat. I thought it was so pretty and really I wanted it for my videos. I thought that it would be cute with, you know, plates on it for photos and things. So I picked that up. I want to say it was like three bucks. Can't beat it. Found a couple other treats there. I went there first before TJ Maxx. So my dogs are stocked up. I found these cheese bones, dental bones instead of rawhide. So I was excited to find these. They're rawhide and grain free. $7, not bad. And then I also found these Rachel Ray savory roasters. These are 100% beef, no fillers, no chicken, no grain. So I grabbed those for $2.50. Also found a couple really cute plates. So I found this blue pattern one and this aqua one. These were buy one, get one half off. So I couldn't pass it up. Wax melts, I found these. These were $3, which is actually a great deal because this is a big pack. And this one is pumpkin pancakes. It smells amazing. And then I also grabbed the apples and cinnamon, which also smells amazing. And then at checkout, I saw this cute little apples and cinnamon lotion. You guys, this was a dollar. Like literally a dollar. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus on it. But anyways, there we go. A dollar at Big Lots. Apple Cinnamon Hand and Body Cream. I'm just going to throw that in my purse. And then I found these for Thanksgiving. We always host Thanksgiving and these are so cute. They say gobble, gobble, gobble. And these were $3 at Big Lot. So these are just to have on hand for Thanksgiving. And lastly, great deal on paper plates. My husband warms his breakfast up usually on a paper plate. 118 of them for five bucks. Not the cheapy ones. These are good quality paper plates. So that is everything that I found at Big Lots. So here's what I'm going to have for an afternoon snack. I'm actually on my way out to my open house. So on the way out there, I'm going to have one of my iconic protein shakes. I love these. This is the Cafe Latte. This is a grass-fed protein shake with 20 grams of protein, 3 grams of sugar, 130 calories, and it is only two smart points, just like the Premier Protein. It is so good, in my opinion, way better than Premier. The ingredients are better. Everything about this is just a better all-around protein shake, and the taste is, in my opinion, a lot better. The Cafe Latte does have a little bit of caffeine, so it's nice for that morning or afternoon pick-me-up. So this is what I'm gonna sip on on my way out to my open house. It's about a 50 minute drive from me. So give me time to drink my protein shake. If you're interested in Iconic, there is a link down in the description box. My code is here on the screen. It will save you 15% off of your order, which makes these very similar in price of the Premier. And again, in my opinion, a way better product. So I'm going to have that. And then after my open house, I actually have to head to meet another client. So I'm gonna bring an additional snack just because I don't know when I'll be home for dinner. And these are from the Protein Wise website. They're the Protein Wise brand. These are the caramel sea salt bars. They have protein, they have fiber, they're gluten-free, and this is what they look like. So this is a good size bar. It is that size, and it is only four smart points. So not bad. I'm going to be bringing one of these. I really wanted one of my granola bars I made in meal prep, but this is just a little bit more portable. So I'm definitely going to have that tomorrow because they're really good. But these you can buy off the Protein Wise website. Again, there's a link in the description box. It'll give you $10 off your first order. So basically you can pick out $10 worth of free product. So I'm going to take this with me and then I'm going to sip on this and that's going to be my afternoon snack. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I just left my open house. It was a flop. It had so many things going against it. Okay, first of all, I couldn't find it because my nav took me to a completely different area than the actual house. I think the development is fairly newer, so the nav hadn't caught up yet. Secondly, it's a gated community. So for the first little bit of the open house, I couldn't get a hold of the agent to get the gate open. So clearly nobody can come to the open house if the gate's not open. And it's a $500,000 house on a holiday weekend. So. It's fine though. I was able to get some work done while I was there. So it ended up being okay. But I also wanted to share with you guys what happened yesterday. So yesterday afternoon, I was out the entire day looking at houses with my clients. So one of the houses that we were at, I parked and went and opened up the house while they ate their lunch in the car. And the husband came and got me and someone had backed into my car. Yeah. Someone backed into my car. I'll go show you some footage here in just a sec. I'll go out and take some footage. 
Apparently I had blocked his driveway a little bit. I didn't even realize it was a driveway. It was so narrow and small and the front of my car was in his driveway a little bit, but I was parked and he hit my car and he was mad. And I was trying to be as professional as possible because my clients are right there. But I told him, I said, I apologize for partially blocking your driveway. I didn't realize this was your driveway, but you should be paying attention when you're backing out. So long story short, my husband called the insurance and it's 100% his fault because my car was parked. Regardless if I would have been 100% blocking his driveway or not, it still would have been his responsibility to see where he was backing out. So now I have a dent in the side of my car and that's just another thing that I need to deal with. So craziness, but I wanted to let you guys know what had happened with my car and I'm going to take you outside right now and show you the dent. So here's where he hit my car. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so sunny, I can't even tell if you can actually see it, but there's a large dent right here, tons of scrapes and things down the side of my car. It was an F-150 truck, and it looks like he may have even potentially buckled a little bit here of my hood, so mm, happy day to me. So here is my dinner. So I have one serving of the gnocchi. This is a total of four smart points. I have two of the turkey meatballs, that is three smart points for two meatballs. And then I have half of a serving of the spaghetti squash mix. An entire serving is three quarters of a cup and that is four points. So I decided to only have half of a serving for two. So I have three for the meatballs, two for the spaghetti squash and four for the gnocchi. So this is my nine smart point dinner. joining me on another what I eat in a day on the WW freestyle program to lose weight. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I love taking you guys along with me, letting you know what's kind of been going on in my life, playing a little bit of catch up. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed coming along. And if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming by. Make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss a single one. Please give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this What I Eat in a Day. And if you have anything that you'd like to see in these vlogs, let me know as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.